Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, this is the first time I've spoken at a Board of Ed meeting, believe it or not. I am a town council boy, and part of the reason is related to a council matter. And that is with, oh, Just did your I address. Said Howard Street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And that is that I have gotten word that the entire Republican caucus of the town council has endorsed a $1.4 million cut to our school system. Um, it's a little peculiar that it wasn't made public. And if people are watching right now, they might say, where in a meeting was this mentioned? It wasn't. It was mentioned last meeting that a proposed cuts were sent into our town manager. When I reached out to a town councilor from the caucus about seeing it, I was told it was not public. I didn't like that answer, so I FOI'd it. And within that is $1.4 million cut. Perhaps maybe the reason that we didn't want to make that very public, but I will make that public. And I am incredibly distraught because I think anybody that understands education knows that it is not numbers. These are people's lives. These are teachers. These are students. This is staff. $1.4 million is not cutting pencil boxes out of the budget. You are cutting teachers. You are cutting staff. You are rolling back programs. And I find it incredibly ironic, especially because there are individuals who continually attack that man, attack this board, and claim that our schools are failing, and they believe the solution is to roll back what we already have. This budget being proposed by the Board of Ed does nothing to enhance education. It maintains what we already have. So you're stating that we need to roll back well, I say you're when I'm referring to what they're proposing. They're stating we need to roll back what already exists. How can we move forward as a district when we can't even maintain what we have? And with that in mind tonight, I would like to ask the three Republican Board of Ed members if they are in agreement with what their colleagues on the council have proposed. And I, I'm sure that you were in conversations with them. And it's unfortunate because I know there are people on the council that have sat on the Board of Ed. They know $1.4 million. It's not like capital improvement on the, on the town council. You're not cutting trucks. You're cutting programs. You're cutting people. And that is a significant impact to our schools. And I think if we're going to have a serious conversation about what our values are as a town, our values should not be to the people looking here. Not only do we not want to maintain what we have, we want to roll back what already exists. And I find that incredibly concerning as a resident, as someone who is an educator, and as someone who studies education at the University of Connecticut, all of which is just, I mean, it's incredibly distressing. Like I've mentioned, I have never had to come before you ever. And hearing $1.4 million is mind blowing. And the fact that it, they decided not to publicize it is even more concerning and even more telling because I think it's playing politics. Thank you, Madam Chair.